Curse, I gotta say, massive fan of yours. Love everything that you're doing. How does it feel being part of the CNE? And not only that, breaking ground at something that has been around for generations and we're really finally getting something new that should have happened decades ago. Um, honestly, it's a little bit overwhelming, but needed. It felt normal, it, not normal, it felt natural that they said yes to having the drag queens come here. Um, myself, Jan, uh, Mo Hart, and Ivory Towers were going to be putting on an amazing show at the band show, August 29th, and I'm just looking forward to for everyone, the staff here, everyone's been so welcoming and so excited for this to happen. Why did this take so long? Well, like, What did you guys have to do, or you ladies have to do, to make this happen? I'll let you guess. First, one year was a, a dark times of, of COVID, so that put a little stop into things. But now that the fair is open, um, they, you don't understand. Like, he said yes right away. The man said yes, green light everything, and then we got into rehearsals right away. And there were, we even went to see the, see the stage today, and it's all being built. It's just like really, you know, we're ready. We're ready for it. Give us some hints. What is this show going to be like? Okay. My show is naturally full production. I have sometimes eight to six dancers we're doing the most on stage we have amazing mixes we have um, some queens who are so it's family friendly show as well so they're very professional queens um, Jan is an amazing singer so hopefully she lends us our vocals especially Mohar is a vocal singer as well dancer Ivory Towers is a comedian and so fun and she's in the world's best world maybe Toronto for sure Ivory, Ivory Towers is a great uh, Lady Gaga impersonator and hopefully she brings that to you to you guys at home here in park. I'm just curious, are they gonna, is there gonna be any filming going on? Like, are we gonna see like maybe a special on this or <laughs> something? Because like I said, this is groundbreaking. So this needs to be documented. I think it's very important that it needs to be documented. I, Ruby, I feel like you're gonna be there. <laughs> Me, my friends. Everybody. I may even have to see if I can finally find the right wig to wear or something like that. I mean, I can help you with the wig, but honestly, yes, you, that's a very smart thing. We're going to have it documented because it's, it's groundbreaking. First, I'm the first queen to do, to do this. And when is this going to be happening? August 29th. That's uh, on a Tuesday. Also, please buy your tickets in advance. They're a little bit cheaper than doing it at the door. And before we go, what else is going on in the future for you? Are we looking at more shows? Are we looking maybe music being released? What's Honestly, going on? Honestly, yes, music. Um, I think it's time for Tainomi to lend her vocals to uh, some tracks. Finally. <laughs> and just curious, even though we are talking, you know, towards the end of the summer, can we please have a holiday song from you at some point in time? You want a holiday song? Like yes. This one? Yes. Like have yourself. Only two notes, guys. I don't want to give it all away. <laughs> We're crossing fingers that happens, but at least we got the show. Congratulations. Yes, Cannot wait. And thank you for breaking ground here in Toronto. Thank you, Mr. Ruby.